A magnitude 3.7 earthquake struck Yellowstone at 7.22 a.m. local time. The epicenter was 22 kilometers south-southwest of Mammoth Hot Springs, at a depth of about 7 kilometers. The shallow depth made it shake more strongly across the northern section of the park. It originated inside one of Yellowstone's most active fault zones, a corridor that channels hot fluids, gas, and stress through brittle layers of crust. This region has long been a focal point for swarms and fluid-driven motion, and even minor shifts here can alter how pressure moves beneath the caldera. Each event sends energy rippling through the hydrothermal network that powers Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs. Seismic stations at Norris and Mammoth recorded a sharp pulse of energy followed by a brief sequence of secondary movement across the rim. The quake redistributed stress in the upper crust and could be followed by smaller aftershocks as the system settles. No magma movement or eruption signs have been detected, but this is how the caldera relieves strain through sudden, forceful adjustments in the rock. Yellowstone is never still. Even at normal alert, the ground is alive and capable of rapid change. We will be watching closely and will update if and when needed.